Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, Friday, 10th of August, at Industry Rumble 5, a Bruce Closier Boxing Promotions. I'm here with Clever Rap Channel. My name's Kerry Davies, and I'm here with Barry Robinson, all the way from the United States of America, New York. And Barry, good evening. How's things? Good evening. What's up, New Zealand? Thanks for having me. How you doing, Kerry? I'm very well, my man. Very well. Enjoying this uh, good night of boxing at the ABA. Oh, we got the same trainer from the Darth Vader gym, and if there's any indication yeah. that his fighters can fight, just take a look at last fight and his fighter get the stoppage. That's right. So we're here on fight number 13. So we've got Mark Proctor it is, um, from one gym at the red corner versus Adama Tirangi from Flex Fitness in uh, Pukakoi. I got to tell you, they do a real good job with the printing of the ring signs here. Yep. E-wing insulation. Yeah. First time I actually paid attention, round one. I like yeah. it. Good focus, Barry. Good focus. Thank you. Hey, so if I've learned anything so far about this event is that these two trainers in the ring are trainers that fighters bring all action. So I'm going to go ahead and predict on a lamb that we get ourselves a good, good fight here. Yeah, so far this show hasn't let us down as we've had 12 action-packed fights. So uh, this, they're definitely expecting another one. Uh-oh, yeah, I, yeah, I think this is for pride. There's, oh, a lot of, there's a lot of fighters fighting here tonight with heart and egos and uh, panache, I'm, isn't there? Look at the energy of these two guys. They are going to fight. They're ready I, to I, go. Yeah, they're ready they're to go. They've got a fight in their hands, haven't they? What's the problem here in the corner? There's not another one forgot their uh, cup. So is it safe to say in the gyms in New Zealand, if you walk into a gym as a businessman or businesswoman, eventually you may end up having a, 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 a be a, being a part of a competition like this yeah for sure corporate boxing in new zealand is huge um, or here in auckland there's shows on every week um sometimes twice a week so, yeah a lot of them are for charity oh so boy did you see that my guy is first of all he's oh, switching southport oh, conventional oh, wow he's moving back off of punches and landing big shots we've got a good fight on our hands but look at the composure look at that. from the i gotta oh, get the names the i'm excited Fans of, oh, the swag of the guy. Look at the movement. His footwork's phenomenal. So here we see Mark take his time. Mark from the red corner and Adama from the blue corner. And this is a really level fight. Looks like both men have a little bit of experience. And they're both going to have to read each other. Good control on the inside. Good job. Adama I gotta tell like you, packing a bit of power there. Adama's packing a little bit of power, but his opponent's doing a good job. And look at him talk to him. He said, "Listen, I'm here, baby. Yeah. I'm here." Oh, oh boy! Right. Yeah, Adama's so his opponent, Adama, is switching. He's conventional. He's southpaw. That's tough to deal with. Very invasive. Uh, That's really tough to deal with in the court. Like, great yeah. body shot. Yeah. Uh oh, he might have just snatched his soul. Well, he's mixing heads and body. There I think really he well, snatched his soul with that body. No, he woke him up. If anything, I see. But Proctor's very tough, isn't he? Very tough. Oh, man, Proctor is patient, isn't he? Shots. And can Adama keep up this pace the whole fight? Let's see. He's come out strong. He's bouncing around. Lovely first round from Adama. Very impressive. I got to tell you, you know, Adama is very impressive. But win, lose, or draw for the red corner. I don't know what the head coach's name from uh, one gym, but I got to be honest, he's a passionate guy looking for hand. I'm really yeah. excited just even watching him. Very animated. Love to see passionate people yeah. in the world. It just doesn't happen nowadays. Yeah, nice. He looks quite fast himself, that trainer. I don't know if he's a fighter himself. He looks a bit Jackie Coach, Chandler. and look, you look notice him that. turning his shoulders over? Oh, wow. It's a lightning hand speed. Look at him go. Boy. That's a, that's a sharp right hand he's got here. But he's definitely in there with his fire, isn't he? He's definitely, uh... Yeah, you know, but you love to see that because you just like... You know, obviously, there's many different styles of teaching. Yeah. But you got to love trainers. Even a trainer in the blue corner, you can tell he cares about each and every one of his fighters. Yeah. He's either on his knee or talking to them very calmly, but making sure they get the message. And you got to love to see that from coaches. It's great to see the passion. Let's you see, see Adama come out bouncing. Let's see if that works Let's against him. Let's see if he can him. keep up this pace. Tough pace. Good, good switch hitting again as well. Very Man, good his switches are very nice. And very evasive. Yeah, he's... Uh, good eyes, huh? Looks like Adama has a little bit of experience, though. No? Yeah, he definitely does. But so does uh, the other opponents. It's just like, you know, okay, here's the thing, folks, that are watching this for the first time. 
whenever you have a three round fight of one minute, you don't really have time to box, look, think, take your time. It's all action. So it doesn't look like the red corner. He looks like an eight or ten round fighter. Well, this is it. Maybe he gets warmed up after oh, three there or four he goes. rounds. He seems to get warmed up now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he ain't got no choice. It's all like you say. It's almost weathering the storm and then coming back. Exactly. To the work, but is, is he going to have enough time to do that? Because Adama doesn't look like he's It doesn't look like he's tiring out, does he? Oh, this is fantastic. Proctor is oh, one now he's solid guy. A little, a little bit, yeah. He's you know, Adama looks like he has really heavy hands, no? Yeah, he does, yeah. When and he lands, he looks like he has heavy hands. Is he gassing now? He's has has um, Proctor weathered the storm and is he going to come back with his own work? If I'm Proctor's calling Mark out needs to jump corner, on him right now, right? Make his right now, right? Yeah, exactly. Now's a good time. But I don't think that's his style. Like I said, he looks like an eight-round fighter. But like you say, he's only got three twos to do it. He needs yep. to... If I'm he's calling out saying jump on him now, test him. You know, Obama hasn't been tested. You know, Kerry, that was my problem in the amateurs. I take a while to get yep. going and three rounds just wasn't enough for me. Yeah. It's always interesting in the gym when you see amateur sparring pros. I've done it myself when I was back in the day with amateur. I'd get in there with a hot shot pro and whooping it and whooping their ass for three yeah. rounds. And I'm thinking, I'm the man, I'm the man. Right. Come fifth and sixth rounds, you're getting put down with body shots, right. you know, because uh, yeah, you run out, you run out of steam, right. and they've weathered the storm, and then and, the, the class and, sets in. And with the amateur style, when boxing, if you do the same thing over and over again, that's why you have 12 rounds to figure the guy out. Three That's rounds right. is not enough time to figure a guy out and relax and get your bearings under you. Look at Mayweather. He looks. He, he gives away three of his first three three rounds of his just to have a look time. at you, just to see what you got. Yep. Let you punch yourself out a bit. Yeah. So, so Proctor here. He hasn't. He hasn't got twelve rounds. But um, let's see if if he can come back with some of his own. It'd be impressive if, if he can. Is it safe to say he's going to need some head snapping shots, two or three he's of them, need a big to round. get back in this fight? He's going to need a big round because he's definitely two down. I don't think Adama's going to allow that to happen. He knows oh. he's got... Yeah, Adama's not going to allow that to Adama's happen. Adama's got to stay... Oh, he's oh. an animal. Oh, wow, he's a different type shots. of animal. Let me tell you, Proctor has some type of heart. Adama's going for the kill. He sure is. But Adama, you know... Adama's best I don't think Adama's a boxer. Open. I think Adama's has some kickboxing experience or some Muay Thai experience, judging yeah. by his shorts and him throwing them overhands. Yeah, he's got a very um, erratic style, which is unorthodox, but quite um, effective, to be honest. Well, you know, as a boxer, the first time you spar a kickboxer or a Muay Thai fighter, a good Muay Thai kickboxer, a professional guy, he normally is going to give you a hard time because he's not punching in a rhythm of boxer punches. That's right. It's yeah. a completely different rhythm, and it takes yeah. a while to get used to. That's right, yeah. But this guy, and he's a switch hitter. He's evasive. Right. He and looks like he's got power. Hands look heavy, don't they? His hands look heavy. I like the way he mixes the lip. He goes head to body quite well. Best thing he's done this fight, Proctor. You see him go with the measurement out there? Yeah. Best thing Post he's up. done this fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he Gave Adama yeah. some pause, didn't it? Yeah. yeah now he knows it. his range. That's, he, but that's what I mean about film study, taking things home. Jab. Proctor has a great job. He's got potential. I'd like to see this go on another couple of rounds. Or but that's what I mean. It's an eight-round fighter. It took yeah. some time to get in a fight. That's the only thing with these short fights that you don't really, sometimes you don't get to see a guy's full potential. Wow. Can, you, fight, can you imagine Leo Santa Cruz as a three-round fighter? Yeah, He would never win. Time. Exactly right, yeah. Same as old, uh, oh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Imagine if Tyson could fight four or five round fights his whole career yeah. <laughs> and just be able to go all out yeah. for four or five rounds forget about it yeah. now the same way adversity for Mayweather if fights were four or five rounds he'd be in a lot of losing. trouble he'd be losing a lot right. of them same for Canelo Canelo's a snow that's star that's quite impressive like so in the amateurs when you get people with really good amateur records like um, you know a lot of people even the best pros they, they sometimes lose 25% of the amateur fights whereas Lomachenko didn't he win like was it him or Triple G who's won? No, it's all over China. won like 300. He lost one. He lost one. That's right. phenomenal. That's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Especially when you're thinking that you're fighting different styles. The best guys, different styles over three rounds. three rounds. But you still come out of top every time. What a lot of people don't talk about Lomachenko is he had a professional game in the amateurs. He had his hand control. All the things they say you're not supposed to do. He did, and he did it very yeah. successfully. One of the best amateur boxers of all time. Adrian Brona, on the other hand, Canelo were not good amateurs. Adrian Brona had 300 fights. 
Yep. But he never won a national title or went oh, to the really? Olympics. Same wow. as Canelo. Wow. Canelo was a world of an amateur, but he started one pro at 16. Yeah, 15, 16. That's yeah. Canelo. So, so it's always that debate about the amateur pedigree. You know, you can. It's a different you know, sport. World, world, Adrian Broner was sport. three weight world champion, never won anything yeah. as amateur. So It's always a different sport, right. isn't it? Paulie Malinagi, same thing. Multiple weight world champ. Didn't win nothing as amateur oh, in New York. Yeah, I've always expected him too because he's quite. He's all about the technical. Had a ton of fights. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. just yeah. Well, wow. so this guy's one to watch. I'd say this um, Adama Terengi. He's one to watch for sure. He's, he looked pretty good. I think so. You know, Adama. First of all, he has bricks in both hands. You can tell because his opponent didn't want nothing to do with those hands. Yep. And then two. I think he has experience in Muay Thai kickboxing, so yeah. he's. I think he's used to four round fights and blitzing a guy. Nah, I don't. Good fight. Good yeah, fight. Yeah, How's yeah. it? How do you feel after that win? Oh, mate, I'm just fatigued. Day. Yeah. Probably could have worked on like my fitness a bit more, but the win. Yeah, you showed a lot of energy and a lot of power, but he just didn't go down, did he? Uh, he was tough, bro. He was tough. He had a tough jaw, tough nose, as he showed out there, bro. He was good. No, he was a good fighter, man. Big credit to him. Yeah. How was training uh, going into this? Oh, bro, big credit to this fella here, bro. He just fucking was on my case 24 7. Get to training, get to training. Uh, see, my fitness wasn't too bad, but I could have done a bit better. Right, Cheers, bro, thank you. What's next for you? Oh, just probably just fucking go get on the piss with the boys. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'll just enjoy this um, win anyway. And have some beer and whatnot. Have yeah. some beer, bro. Yeah. Have well, we we'll say thank you for uh, fighting for uh, prostate cancer here. It's a great, it's a great honour and it's, it's a big uh, thing for us. So yeah, uh, congratulations on your victory. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you.